In this video, I'd like to show you how to build your own Zenith browser layout. In a browser layout, you can essentially set up your screen to see something like what I have in front of you here. So this has a chart, it has quote windows, it has news, and you can build this and customize this however you would like. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go in and let's show you how you can build your own browser window. Now, if you don't have the browser open, you need to go down to the X uh, for Zenith down here, right click and go new browser. Now I have one open here, but I need to show you how to create a new one. So what I'm going to do is click the plus up in the window here. And this will bring me open to a screen, something like this. Now I want to first customize this screen a little bit. This is the start page that you, that you see when you open up a new browser. Now you can customize this to view uh, some different information. Now yours may look different than mine on startup and that's okay. I'm going to show you how to customize it to, to look however you want on startup here. So to do that, what you do is you come up here to a little cog wheel, this customized start. And I'm going to turn on a few different things. I'm going to turn on the world clock. I actually really like the world clock and being able to see some different market time zones and what's going on. You could turn on a search here so you can quickly search across uh, Zenith and you can turn on recently used. Now recently used is the best one to turn on here because that lets you create new layouts and that's what we want to be able to do. So if that wasn't already turned on, it is now. Okay. So here's a list of what I've recently looked at here, but I want to create my own. So I'm going to click this create new layout option. So if I choose that, it'll pop open this window and say, create a layout. How do you want it to look? And you can customize this once you've built it and you can add and change panels. But let's start with a simple three panel option here. So if I choose the three panel option and click create, it'll open up this window. And this window lets me go in and add different apps or information right in here. So if you maybe had three favorite uh, securities that you traded, you could just add information about those three favorite securities. But what I want to do is I want to do a few different things. First, what I want to do is add a monitor. So if I choose monitor here, so monitor is a quick way to actually just monitor a list of symbols, uh, essentially what it is. Well, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Next, I want a news monitor. So I want to be able to see the news from my list. So if I check news, it'll open up a news monitor. Then finally, I want to see a chart. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm tying in and adding my list, my news and a chart. Okay. So if I come back over to my list here, so I could go through and I could type a list of symbols in here and save it. I could go to a previous list that I might have. So you can see here's my list here that I have of, of different things. So let's, we're going to do this. I'm going to type in, I'm, I'm going to type in that I have uh, dot SPX, which is the S&P 500. And if I choose that, it'll have a little drop down arrow here that I can see a list of symbols. Okay, so that brings it all my symbols that I want to look at. Next, what I want to do is I want to broadcast this to my news and to my chart. So if I click on any of the symbols, I see an update. So if I click on this little chain here, I can go broadcast to, and then I can go to news. And then what'll happen is if I click on one of these symbols, it'll bring me in the news for that symbol. And now I can go back here and click on link again and go to broadcast to and go to the chart as well. So now all three of those are linked. So if I go through and I click any of these, it will quickly just update and give me the most relevant information based off of the symbol that I'm looking at. And you can build this to look at any, any specific chart or whatever it is that you want. Okay. Now that I've done this, I want to save this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click save as, and I'm going to name this. I'll just call this my market overview. Okay. And then I'll click save. Now a quick way to be able to get back to this is to actually bookmark it. 
So I can bookmark it. It's also saved over in my files, as you can see. Let me close this breaking news story here. So I'm, you can see, uh, you can go to my files, which we'll cover in a different video. But I have my market overview thing page saved here. Now, what I want to do is bookmark this, because what happens if I bookmark it and click OK? It'll actually go up here just like a web browser. So if I were to close this and then click Market Overview again, what it will do is it'll tie it all together and just bring it right back for me. Okay, so that is a, just a quick example of how you can build and customize your own views inside the browser. I hope you found this video instructional and useful, and I wish you continued successful trading.